The police have just arrived. If I just inadvertently become a proper dogger, I may be risking my life parking here. Ooh, lovely. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we've had some snow. But uh, I'm taking the uh, I'm taking the not the easy way out. easy way out. I guess I'm taking the easy way out this week. I'm sleeping in there. Not gonna lie, yeah, I bottled it camping. Uh, I mean, various reasons. It's pitched. It's it's a really long night. Yeah. And where are we this week? Well, this week we found ourselves in this car park. It feels like it's in the middle of nowhere. And I found it on park for night. Just gonna get it in and then I'll uh, bring you back. So yeah, what we're doing out here tonight? Well, I'd love to tell you that because of the snow, I decided against driving all the way home from work. So I was, you know, I didn't want to do the long journey and risk my life and all that sort of rubbish. Yeah, it is a load of rubbish to be fair. To be honest, I come out just purely because, well, purely for this reason. And I find myself searching through park for night round by where I work. Because I do, I work about 40 minutes away from home. So, you know, I thought I'm back in work tomorrow. I'm going to stay local. So, this place I'm in right now. So he's got 2.25 stars on park for night. No, I am. Well, I can't help it though, can I? That was a bit awkward. Right, so, I was just turning the light off a minute. I'm just gonna shut this door. Oh goodness me, it started already, it started already. Anyway, yeah, basically the car park I'm in is renowned for doggers apparently. And bearing in mind it's half past four, when I pulled down the lane, there was uh, just opposite the car park, there was a car backed into this little, I don't know, almost like a farmer's field. Somewhere where you wouldn't expect to see a car anyway. And then just after I pulled into the car park, that car's pulled in and he's parked next to me. And the reason I stopped talking just is because the person who was in the car got out and walked along the van, in front of the van, and then walked. I mean, I've never been here before, so I've no idea where he walked. But he walked off in through the bushes and he kept turning around looking. So, I'm not kind of sure what kind of dogging car park this one is, but, I may be risking my life parking here, or at least risking my virginity. Yeah, conscious you can't see that at all, but he's parked up next to me and uh, just tried recording, but the front screen was on on here, so he would have seen it. He would have seen me try to record him. Uh, yeah, this is a bit awkward. I don't know what to do. He walked off into the woods, which I want to go and have a look at, to be honest, but I don't really want him to think I was following where he was going. Yeah, what would you do? He 
just pulled up right next to me. Another one. My goodness me. I thought Canary Chase was bad. I think I've just stumbled on a worse, more active dogging spot than Canic Chase. It's now 10 to 5 on a Wednesday night. And there was that car that was pulled next to me originally. And then I was just getting some stuff out the back, ready to have some dinner and stuff. Yeah, there's no one coming in, there's no one coming in. I thought somebody was pulling in. So I was just getting some dinner anyway, and another car pulled up, so there's now three of us. Bear in mind, you can't really see this car park, but it's huge. Well, it's huge. It's big enough anyway. And they both pulled up right next to me. And anyway, they've both just pulled off. I'm gonna have to turn this light off because you won't be able to see, but they've both pulled off and they've both gone over the back onto the little laney thing and they've both pulled into little like farmers field well reversed into little farmers field things. So almost if they're watching for cars to pull in and then well and then they'll come in as well. So I am gonna go and have a little look. Where that first guy walked to. Walk in here. He walks into here into these bushes. Which again, reading online, it says they use the bushes for their uh, adult activities. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Yes, I've just slipped. Whoa! Just want my coat on. Oh, it stinks around here. Oh. Oh. Not joking, yeah. What the f oh. Absolutely no idea where I am, but it stinks. Right then, people. I'm a little bit scarce on supplies tonight. I've got one beer. It's probably not a bad idea, not a bad thing, because I am in a public car park. And it's a school night. So I've got one beer and I've got some dinner. That's all I've got. Cheers. I'm not sure what the, if you can hear that noise that the heater on, so just uh, it is freezing. I'm not quite sure what the etiquette is in these car parks. I know what you're thinking if you've been here for a while, you're thinking you've been there, you've been to enough room, Rob, you should know. Because, like I say, both of them cars have both pulled out now and pulled in that lane across the road. Is that what happens? You pull in over there, wait for someone to come in, and then you follow them behind them? Don't know. If anyone knows the etiquette, let me know. If anyone knows any locations they want me to go and visit and spend the night in, let me know. Or, if anyone thinks I'm spoiling people's fun, and uh, people want to have a moan at me, there you go. And on the menu tonight, Southern fried chicken milli fillets. Now, if there's one thing I do know about dogging, it means when your interior lights come on, it means you want to be watched. And I've just turned the lights on. I've had the lights off watching, just watching a bit of telly. I've just turned the lights on in here just obviously do me dinner and now that car's pulled 
pulled quite close. If I just inadvertently become a proper dogger. God's sake. There you go, someone's pulled next to me. So it was mentioned in my video last week about my bacon and egg butty being uh, dry. Well, problem is, I've got nothing for this either. That is dry, isn't it? Chicken fillets on a bit of a roll. What are we saying? Bit of an update on the car situation. What's saying? Let's turn the lights off. Let's have a bit of a look. That one's still there. He parked quite close to me. You can't see. Oh, so he's just driving off. And next door to me. In fact, that's him. He's just driving off. There we go. His brake lights are on. Stopped on the actual lane. And I can see his reverse lights coming on. And he's reversing into that farmer's fieldy type of uh, pulling. Right, just having dinner. Situation is <clears throat> the car. Well, weird. Car pulled up here. Oh, in the corner ages ago, to be honest. And then he pulled quite close, and he'd been there for half hour, forty minutes. He's just reversed back. There's two vans, I've just had a quick look outside. There's two vans and then there's another car that side. Time is now upper six. So yeah, what are they doing? We know what they're doing, don't we? No, I'll be honest, I'm not too sure if I'm actually gonna stay here. I'm getting a bit freaked out. So obviously I've been to many car parks before for these dogging car parks. But I've never actually seen anything happen, or you know, people come and people go. And I'm not saying I've seen anything happen now, but I've just had a quick look out the window. And the van, the car next to me, I mean, there's a car next to me, but it's passenger door is wide open. And if I was to open my driver's door, it would be touching that, that door, if you know what I mean. That's how close it the, the car is. His passenger door is wide open, no idea where he is, can't see anything out there, not sure he's in the car or what. One van's just disappeared, but there's still a van over there and still a car there. And there's a a man stood in between the van and the car over there. And again, I can't really work out what he's doing. Whether it's the man from over there, whether it's the man from that car. Excuse me. So to be honest, I'm getting a bit freaked out. Okay, so the person who's leaning up against the van is now moved away from the van. And he's getting into the car. Oh my God, am I witnessing actually? Oh my God, the van's now got his lights on. You see that? Well, it's not a van actually, it's a, it's a Land Rover Discovery. He's not going. Or oh, she, I don't know. Yet again though, it's slowed down down that lane and has pulled in to the farmer's little pulling. Oh my God, I'm not sure I'm staying here to be honest. Honestly God though, the car next to me, his door's wide open. Time is now 20 to nine. And there's a car pulled up next to me and there's four people in it. The lights have been on, there's a short, there's two. There's definitely a woman, there's definitely two men. One man, one woman's got out. Oh, and a fag. The police have just arrived. Up there is the police.
Wow. Yeah, police arrived. Do you reckon they'll come for a bit of action? Half past nine. To be honest, I'm tempted not to stay here because it's just been car in, car out. And when I'm up there in bed, I can't hear them. Yeah, it's a good thing, but I just don't know if I trust them. There's one there now. But yeah. Probably going to sign off now, so unless anything happens, I'll see you in the morning. Let's be honest, I'm, I'm just going to stay here right now. Good morning. So if you've been here a while, you'd have seen me use that coffee machine a few times. And uh, if you do want one, there's two ways you can get one. You can either click on the description and, uh, and buy one using my discount code, or you can hit the subscribe button. And uh, I've got a spare one, brand new in box, to give away once I reach a thousand subscribers. So yeah, if you do want one, please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends, especially your dogging friends. And then, uh, yeah, the sooner we get to the thousand subscribers, the sooner you get to give it away. But yeah, pretty uneventful night to be honest. Stars are still out. It's about 10 past six. Stars are still out. Um, my main concern to be honest is look at the frost. Windscreen is clear though, thanks to the heating being on. But, um, yeah, I'm a bit concerned about getting out of this car park. You can't really see it, but yeah. Anyway, if you are still here, as ever, really appreciate it. Thanks very much. And um, don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next week where I am going to be braving it. Oh got a new bit of gear to try especially for this cold weather so you want to see a man suffer outside in a hammock Whoa.